Welcome back to the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit College Frenzy, where the fittest college teams across India are all battling it out to stake their claim for a shot at the 9 lakh prize fund, and one of them with a chance to go away with that beautiful brand new Maruti Suzuki Swift car. Team SRCC is leading this competition with 10 points. There are still quite a few races to see. Coming up, we have Cotton College all the way from Gauhati, taking on Hans Raj College from New Delhi. Diganta looked to improve on his second attempt at the course as he went up against another Delhi College. Diganta had the early advantage as his opponent Aryan couldn't clear the vertical climb. With an all clear course ahead, Diganta made it all the way to the summit and kept his cool as he scaled it. Stab around, absolutely fantastic effort. With that, Cotton got their first race win. And then it was up to Dhruvaji to maintain the momentum against the Aquaman, Abhiraj. My name is Dhruvaji Deka. I'm a student of Cotton University. My choice of sports are CrossFit and Mixed Martial Arts. Mixed Martial Arts started out as an experiment where I was looking for different kind of sports and activities whichever gives me a strong blood rush. Right around that time, Mr. Bhavaji Chaudhary, who is a coach and mentor and a very renowned fighter in India, he came along and opened up his first MMA gym in Guwahati. I was among the first students here and I've been here ever since. In college frenzy, my opponents will have to come to terms with this. So now we go. Abhishar Verma of Hans Raj, who can level it up here and potentially win it on countback against Drupajit Decker, who didn't finish the first time he played the course. It's a big ask for Cotton Cottage. Reach out, reach out. Chal, 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 chal. Oh, Aram, swing, swing, swing the low, swing the low. And already a life bites the dust for Dubrajit Sananda. Mm. And Abhisari looks pretty steady, looks pretty fast and swift at the moment. Looks like things are under his control. Dubrajit has to exit stage left and that means Hans Raj can potentially win this. Things look good for Abhisar Varma at the moment. Well, the things important thing, for Hans Raj. The important thing to watch here is if it goes to count back, Abhisar Varma will need to beat Diganta Kalita's time of 2.52. So on form lines, this could be very tight indeed. Abbasir Verma got to the ropes though. He can't afford any more messing about oh, now. He I, somehow I, kept I his feet off the ground. How's that he is done brilliant. that? That's That's very good. That's very, very good. That's the Impressive. recovery of the day from Abhishar Verma. Now we go. Time to beat. We can only win this matchup if you beat 252. It's going to come down to the clock, this. I fancy if he gets past push your limits, he'll be. He seems to have it all. I think I don't like it when they look down on the ground. When they start looking down on the ground, I think yes. they know that's the next place they're going and they mm. want to check it's all safe down there. But he's found a second win from somewhere. And all of a sudden, 2 minutes 52, the time to beat to win this match. Remember, it's Hans Raj College's Abhishar Verma. Did he get the... Oh, oh no! He that kept was his hard. feet off the ground. Yes, he did. For the second yes. <laughs> obstacle on the course, he somehow escaped disaster. And That's... now, with potentially a bad arm, oh my word, if he's hurt that right arm, the only chance is getting it first time. Oh, what courage, what guts, what heart shown by Abhishar Verma. Despite the fact he almost lost a life twice, he kept his feet off the ground. But this is what happened to you. This is, ladies and gentlemen, I think you have to see this. The last one, that one, when it fell, I think I broke my arm or something. It's, I can't feel my arm. Oh, definitely you need to get that attended to, but very, very brave attempt. Absolutely fantastic. All the best. An exciting finish was in the books with the teams tied at 1-1 as Bharat and Ayush faced off for a decisive victory. Ayush was first to fall in the vertical climb and Bharat fell not long after at the last rung. Their second attempts didn't go much better and the race ended with a dismal washout. But a win was a win and Hans Raj would be happy to take it any way they could. Well, what a thrilling matchup that was and stylish finishes by both Diganta and Abisar. Both teams very closely matched. But based on maximum obstacles finished, the match goes to Hans Raj College.
Cotton College after two races are yet to gain their first taste of points. Two teams, two fierce rivals from Delhi University, SRCC and Hans Raj College are up next. And kicking off the rivalry were Aradhya and Aryan as they took to the field. And the battle began with a whimper as Aradhya and Aryan fell one after the other. Out differently this time around, but doesn't seem so. Doesn't think, seem so. Aradhya had almost made it before succumbing to fatigue. Oh! Aryan never made it past the second bar, and it was over before it had even begun. Both Polkit and Ayush look to do better and give their college some much needed momentum. The vertical climb was proving to be the ultimate devil slayer as Ayush promptly gave up his lives at the start. Going to ah, and But I think they're both gone. They yes. both and such both. was the case with Pulkit who couldn't go past the halfway point. Another race, another damn squib. And it all came down to two challengers who had already proven themselves on the course. It was Manuraj versus Abhisar. My name is Abhisar Varma. I am a student of Hansraj College. I have participated in Pacific School Games, which were in Australia, Adelaide. It started because of a lie, to just to impress some of my friends. And now it is a part of me. I am an international swimmer. Are you ready for me? One. Hans Raj running in the lane nearest to us. SRCC on the far side, represented by Manaraj Singh, who's made a strong enough start. And nearest to us, Akisar is in front. Not by much, though. That hand doesn't appear to be bothering him too much at the moment. Bothering too much at the moment, yes. But he needs to save his hand from further injury. He needs to take proper care of that hand when he goes back to the hotel tonight. Lots more coming up. He seems to be doing pretty well. Tools and twists and turns on the hanging doors. Well, we've seen various kinds of contortion when it comes to crossing the hanging doors here. These times have mastered the art of getting through the doors to the ropes and back onto the push your limits track as quickly as you can. It's the only way you're going to set record breaking times is by running the course that way. You can see all the anxious teammates looking on in the grandstand there with the blood, sweat and tears logo hoisted above them. And how much gas he really has left in him. Akisar. Seems all right for now, seems all right for now. Akisar doing you proud at the moment, Sananda. Yes. The question now is the transition, and can he get through this? Now, I think he can. He seems pretty confident. He seems pretty strong at the moment. But it's about time he had a finish up, and Sananda's going to be proved exactly right. Just the anger run on the summit to go. I bet him every day of the week on the summit, oh, but maybe the anger run will beat him. It's, it's actually deja vu. He did exactly the same thing the first time it's round. It's going to be a footwear issue. This time, though, he saved yeah. himself, just like he did last time, again. Is this going to... Okay, this is hand. where he hit his hand last time around. I hope he gets it this time around. And he is going to get it this time around without an injury. In spite of an injury, he gets on oh. top of that summit. And in fact, does a bit of a roll. Many congratulations to I Abisar. I bet my well. money. Was right. <laughs> So plenty of potential on display there, but ultimately only Abbasar Varma from Hans Raj managing to complete the course. The time, 2 minutes 21, Sananda, that's not too bad. Yeah. Team Hans Raj, courtesy of that finish, taking the match and bagging the 10 points. SRCC and Hans Raj secured the two top positions. The final match of Group C is up next. It's Cotton College versus Pune University. Our last match from Group C, Cotton College in Pune University. This competition is heating up with every single race and no one is in a mood to spare an inch. Where there's Avid, there's a way for Pune University to claim some points. He's up next against the determined Diganta. So two teams searching for their first win set out on a journey in their third games in Group C. It's Cotton College against Pune University. De Ganta Kalista for Cotton and Avid Anand Moraka desperately trying to get the win for Pune University. Let's see what energy these men have got left. Whether or not he'll be able to continue that winning streak is to be seen yet, but he seems to be doing just fine for the moment. Well, I think we're finding it. 
Group Bit C. Bit of a hop in the shuffle there. Finish from Abyssal was very impressive, but as the days got on, the finishers seem to have been thinning out just ever so much as the athletes expand all their energy on these third and final runs. Energy or not, he's hanging on to these doors. Deganta Kalita. Now, what are they called? You're down with the kids, Sananda. What are those called, those things around the neck? That's the kind of a bandana. Which you need in these weather conditions certainly, for the smog in Delhi. Certainly to keep his neck warm and maybe keep the That's airways free. a bit of a style attachment. The last time around when he got on the summit, he actually covered his face with that thing. <laughs> so, Mayaka is nowhere to be found. You can't find him with a radar. Meanwhile, Dikanta Kalita is absolutely sailing through the rings here. The transition is a good one as well. Well, he seems to be struggling a bit, but... Struggle well, he got does not the mean it's a okay. progress. The one surprise on this opening day of competition has been oh, the fact right. they're struggling on the parallel pole rather than the rings. Is he going to get it the second time round as well? He is. He is going to get it the second time round as well. And is he going to cover his face with the bandage? Yes, he is. He loves Absolutely it. fantastic. I wonder what that means, though. Cotton in the lead for the first time as Dhruvaji took to the field against Shilpa. From the start, Shilpa struggled and promptly lost her life on the vertical climb, allowing Dhruvaji to gain a lead. Shilpa dropped out again, meaning Dhruvaji could have easily taken the race. But his efforts were for naught as he got timed out at the hanging doors. The match may have been over for Pune University, but Webha was still looking to salvage some pride. And away they go, nearest to us as you look on the camera. The vertical climb proved to be Webha's bane again as his struggles allowed Bharat to pull ahead. As Webha fell, Bharat was pushing his limits at pusher limits, but he couldn't clear it. Cotton took the match and the 10 points either way. So guys, आपको कभी ऐसा लगा कि किसी obstacle कभी पार नहीं हो पाएगा? Monkey walk था ना, वो थोड़ा मतलब बहुत tough था. Grip ही नहीं बैठती थी, मतलब ऐसा पकड़े ना तो pain करता था और हाथ sleep हो जाता था मतलब. Hundred percent दिया, but monkey bar पे. आपने hundred नहीं, आपने two hundred percent दिया. All the best. So just have a look at this scoreboard. Hans Raj and SRCC in repping Delhi as they hold the lead with 30 points and 20 points respectively. What a passionate display by Group C. Patrick coming up after the break. We have the teams from Group D all geared up to take on the toughest obstacle course in India. It is the Marty Suzuki Devil Circuit College Frenzy Season 1. Take a break and be right back.